as we round the corner on this Memorial Day and transition into summer and fire season, there is new insurance anxiety for California homeowners. State Farm just announced it has stopped selling new home and business policies in our state. So it's blaming soaring construction costs and the elevated wildfire risk. Devin Feely looks at what the move could mean even if you're not with State Farm. Affordable homeowners insurance isn't just a luxury, especially for folks who live in areas that are vulnerable to wildfires. And frankly, that's a lot of places in Northern California these days. It's a necessity. And that's why there is such deep, deep concern about the potential fallout from State Farm's decision. We knew that it would be a nightmare dealing with insurance in the county and it'd be years before we could rebuild. During the CZU fire, Michael Branson did the inadvisable to avoid the unthinkable. He stayed behind to prevent the flames from reaching his family's homes. All 30 acres burned in outbuilding structure, stuff like that. We stayed with the help of the fire department and saved two of the main houses. Michael has State Farm Insurance and says he's deeply concerned by the company's decision to no longer sell new homeowners insurance policies in California. State Farm is trying to lead an insurance industry insurrection. Harvey Rosenfield is the founder of Consumer Watchdog and says he thinks the insurance giant is trying to use its leverage to convince state regulators to approve a rate increase. Officially, State Farm cited, quote, rapidly growing catastrophe exposure, principally from wildfires, as the reason for its policy change. The entire uh, insurance market in California will be deeply destabilized with terrible repercussions for the policyholders and the public. Michael says he doesn't want to think about what might happen if his insurance policy was canceled. It would be a nightmare because our property tax is already insanely high and our mortgage, so if we had a policy like some of my neighbors and friends have had, it would be like having a third mortgage. And like many policyholders, he's looking to Sacramento, hoping state regulators step in. You know, it would be nice if there was some type of um, safety net for people, you know, where they could still be insured, but it was actually affordable. Insurance is a regulated industry in California, and a lot is going to be determined by the response of the state's insurance commissioner. We should get a strong signal of how that may unfold when the government reopens on Tuesday. Devin, thank you. Existing State Farm customers are not affected and the company is still selling auto insurance. Now, the state has taken some steps to protect homeowners. In 2019, it passed a law banning insurance companies from dropping policies in certain zip codes for one year after a wildfire disaster was declared. It's also doubled coverage limits under the FAIR plan, a sort of last resort option for people who can't get coverage elsewhere.